Hi, welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. Here, we share magical tales and adventures from around the globe, along with some amazing educational videos. Today, we're going to learn about the Kindness Project. Thomas's class gets a homework assignment to do something kind and then share what they did with everyone. Let's find out together what each kid in the class did and learn how you can join the Kindness Project. Thomas's class had an assignment at school that was to do an act of kindness, then come back to class and report on it. Pepper Pickle, a new kid in the class, went first. I wanted to start at home by showing kindness before I showed it to strangers. I washed the dishes for my mom. I mowed the lawn for my dad. I also cleaned up my brother's room, Pepper said. That's great, said his teacher. Billy Bob, you're next, said the teacher. Well, I kind of had a hard time with this one, said Billy Bob. What was your act of kindness that you would like to share with the class? asked Mrs. Jacobs. Well, my brother pulled my hair really hard and I didn't slap him even though I wanted to. And that was really kind, replied Billy Bob. The entire class laughed. Yes, you're right, Billy Bob. That was kind. Class, you see, being kind isn't just about doing nice things, but also not doing mean things when you feel like it. Just like Billy Bob gave an example of. Mrs. Jacobs said. Next up is Thomas, said the teacher. I saved up $20 to buy something I wanted and I was at the grocery store and this lady didn't have enough money to buy her groceries, so I gave her my $20. That's wonderful, Thomas, his teacher said. It was Sally's turn next. I bought groceries and made dinner for my grandmother, Sally said. That is very kind of you, Sally, replied Mrs. Jacobs. Molly went next. This is near and dear to my heart, and I can't believe that I did it. But after I did it, it felt so good. I met this little girl, and her family didn't have much money. She really liked one of my little ponies I had. It was my favorite one, but I gave it to her, and she was so happy, Molly said. The class started clapping. Molly, we all know how hard that was for you. That was great what you did, said Mrs. Jacobs. Tutu Putt was the last one to share with the class. I was at the store and I found this little boy who was crying and I asked him, Little boy, why are you crying? And he said he was lost and couldn't find his mummy. I told him not to worry and that I would help him find his mummy. So, I took him to the customer service desk where they called his mummy over the loudspeaker and she came and found him. He was so happy, said Tutu Putt. That's great, Tutu Putt. It sounds like everyone did a great job on the acts of kindness assignment. We could all find some act of kindness to help others out, said Mrs. Jacobs. So, kids, think about what you are going to do to add to the kindness project. Thank you for listening and learning. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. I'll see you soon in another story. Bye for now.